Hello and welcome to Northwoods Capital Report. My name is Jessica Nyman and I'm here today with State Representative John Purcell. Hi Jessica. How are you doing? Doing well, Good. and you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I think the last time we spoke we were talking about um, how the the budgets put forth by the majority were out of balance by about 1.2 billion. That was a few weeks ago and so I just wanted to check in with you and kind of see what's the status of of, of these budgets as they are they're making their way through to the governor. Well, we're we're uh, still finding that uh, that these budget bills that uh, that are uh, now uh, have moved to conference committee. Uh, there's been no change uh, that I'm aware in uh, in their status as being a billion dollars uh, short uh, from balancing the budget. Uh, and uh, other than the agriculture bill, which uh, I guess I'm a little proud to say, and I don't re remember if I said it before, but uh, on Ag Committee, and that's one, the only budget bill that uh, uh, was uh, moved all the way to the governor, and the governor signed it. So right. um, uh, those of us on that committee are pretty proud of our work. We certainly work in a bipartisan fashion, and uh, hopefully we're setting a tone for everybody else. But uh, not yet. They aren't moving very far, very fast with the other budget bills. Right, right. And it seems like um, what we've been hearing is is a lot of these constitutional amendments that are moving forward, and less about the budget. And we've heard some, we've heard some 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 talk from the majority about um, a lack of perhaps a lack of participation from from the governor. I don't know if you can shed any light on that. Well, certainly um, moving into some of these uh, more uh, um, social issues, if you will, constitutional amendment kind of things, uh, um, you know, ordinarily we take those up in a, you know, in the second half of the biennium and uh, I, it's unclear to me why we're doing it now, maybe just because uh, seem to be time on their hands because the conference committees uh, aren't doing a whole lot and, uh, you know, I, I heard uh, talk the other day uh, of uh, and 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 since uh, earlier today even of conference committee work and uh, there hasn't been a conference committee that I'm aware of that's even adopted between the House and the Senate. They go in the room and they sit and they meet and ordinarily you sit down and one of the first things you do is you adopt the language that's identical. Mm -hmm. The House has got this language, the Senate's got, and if the language is identical, you adopt it. You make a motion and you say, okay, we're going to adopt what's identical. They haven't even done that. Wow. So uh, it, they're finding it difficult to to find that compromise uh, between the majorities uh, that are Republicans that are running the House and those that are running the Senate. And there's no sense for the governor to get involved if the if the the House and the Senate Republican majorities can't even you know find a, a, a common ground among themselves. There's no sense for the governor to be involved, and he usually doesn't get involved until those bills come out of conference and and have been adopted by the respective houses as a conference bill. So mm -hmm. um, it, it's going uh, as it should, except that uh, Republican majorities aren't doing anything. Other than that, everything's <laughs> all right. All right. Um, and actually, just you, is there, have, have, uh, have governors in the past, have they gotten involved this early well, on in the, in the process? Well, my understanding is, is uh, that certainly they're, the administrative staff, the commissioners of the various agencies, do get involved, and mm -hmm. and that's that's my uh, you know brief history right. here and right. the conference committees that I was on in my first two years here, and uh, uh, I'm not on any conference committees this year. In fact, you, if you look at the the list of Democrats that are on the conference committees, you're going to find there's a woeful lack of uh, of Democrats that have been named to those conference committees, and. Uh, so we aren't going to take any of the blame for what's not going on in the conference committees because we just haven't been allowed to be a part of that. But the, the, the commissioners ordinarily of the respective uh, um, budget areas go to the conference committees and, and they represent the governor. And, uh, but gee, if you can't even sit down and adopt language that's identical from the House and the Senate and, and uh, you know, at least start there, uh, then something's really wrong. And something's really wrong, <laughs> you know, the, the Republicans just can't can't get off the dime here, so um, we'll we're, we're just have to wait and see. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to throw your contact information up on the screen after we're done here so, you know, folks can stay in touch with, in touch with you um, as time goes on. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. This has been Northwoods Capital Report.